The reason why I felt like it was time to do it is partly because I was led to do it. And it's just that time in my life. I'm turning 50, God willing, and this is my magnum opus. I wanted to tell my story. My story is a lot about not being able to tell my story. So this is kind of like, it was an interesting process because I actually had to go against what I've gone through to keep me silent. So this is something that's really special to me because I'm finally able to speak on the things that I went through, my story from my perspective, and it meant so much to me. And throughout my life, there have been times when people say, you've been misunderstood. And I kind of feel as I get older and I still look young, like a lot of people say, I wonder if I'm gonna be more misunderstood because it's my age, my faith, my dancing and my outgoing personality. A lot of times people just only know that little piece of me. So I just felt like there was so much out there about me already as a YouTube content creator, as an actress, as a dancer, a belly dancer, and now as a minister. And I feel like if you've met me on one of those areas, I wonder if you know about the others. When I minister to women and children, I also want them to realize that I've been through a lot myself and I want them to see behind the smile is a life with a lot that I've been through. I want them to see how I overcame. And I'm starting to get a lot of comments on YouTube about me being joyful because that is my ministry, is about being joyful. And I'm hearing people talk a lot about it. I'm getting, I'm starting to, starting to stand out a little more that I look so young for my age. And I'm thinking, okay, is it time for people to know that there's so much more to me than what you've seen? There's so much more to my story and I can actually bless you with my story. And while I'm blessing you, it'll bless me because I'll be able to finally get it out and do it in a way that, that I can enjoy it myself by throwing in some of my performing arts. So I'm just, this is really important to me. There's been a lot of ups and downs in the pain of going back and trying to get all the story in a place where I can actually put it into a play. So I had to get through a lot of the psychological and emotional stuff that I've been through and get to a place where, okay, I get it. I can actually share this story and I know it's a blessing. So I'm really, really excited to finally share my magnum opus, my story of my life with everyone who's already known me, but maybe they didn't know all of the pieces of the puzzle or those people who thought they knew me, but maybe now they'll know a little more about me and maybe they'll see how we might have some things in common. Maybe I can be a blessing and I can use my ministry to bless them and anoint them and help them unlock their joy. That's really the, the, the core of why this means a lot to me. It's actually so important to me because it has so much in it, in one piece of work, that that's why I call it my magnum opus. And I can celebrate my 50th birthday with everyone I love and on my channel with my lovelies. So.